What could be down this path? Past the crepe myrtles? Well, as the sign suggests, it's a cemetery. Join me on Walk Through Texas History today as we see the final resting place of the last Vice President of Texas. <music> So here we are at the Fanthorpe Cemetery, and I wanted to do a separate video of it today from the Fanthorpe Inn because the cemetery has got some great historic information. And the reason why the namesake of the town, Anderson, is buried here as well. So we'll take a quick tour of it and see if we can uh, learn some great history today. So these two were buried here in the 1850s. You've got Martha, and John Laprell, looks like. And right beside him is Dixon. And then in the very back is another person. It's, the headstone's fallen on that one. Here's that headstone that had fallen. It looks like uh, W or VH Rhoda. Now here's Mr. Michael Moore Kennard, M.M. Kennard, 1809-1895, he fought in the Texas Revolution. He actually owned some land in Robertson's Colony in present-day Grimes County. And then he had a mercantile business and firm, uh, Fanthrop, Womack, and Kennard. It was the first here in Grimes County. And this historical marker is for him. Here is Sarah E. Fanthorpe. She died in 1844. She was two years old. The daughter of Henry and Rachel Fanthorpe. Back in the back is Rebecca L. Moore. And Betty Moore. 1816-1865. I'm sorry, 1846 to 1865. So here's Marie Virginia Kettler. She died 1890. Right next to her is Annie V. Stone Dodson. This would have been the granddaughter of the Fanthorpes. And then I believe this is her brother Henry Fanthorpe Stone was 17 years old when he died. Here's Major William Stone. He was a member of General Walker's staff in the Confederate States of America. His wife, Mary A. Fanthorpe Stone. Fanthorpe Stone. She was the daughter of the Fanthorpes and actually continued to the end for another year in 1867, 1868 until uh, they decided to close it up and it became a family residence at that point for the next hundred years until the state took it. Here is her brother, John H. Fanthorpe. He was 22 years old, six months and six days. He died in 1863 in the Civil War. Uh, he got sick and died. His mother and father are right beside Henry and Rachel. This is Henry's headstone. They died of yellow fever. Uh, she, he died in Halloween 1867. Her headstone just to the right. She died three days later. And like I said, they had, they had yellow fever. Um, they were the owners of the Fanthorpe Inn. Here are two more headstones. This is Mrs. S. Virginia Peck. And this one right here, I cannot read. It's just, it's 
this point unreadable. And the last one just to my left is the namesake of the town we're in. And here's the namesake of the town, the last vice president of Texas, Kenneth Lewis Anderson. He's buried here. He died here in Anderson, Texas, July 3rd, 1845. And as it says, he was born in North Carolina, became a district judge, speaker of the House of the Sixth Congress, and then the last vice president of the Republic of Texas. And after him, the name was changed from Fanthrop to uh, Anderson. And at that point, uh, it really became known as that. In the 1850s, they were definitely calling this area Anderson, Texas. So it was still pretty prominent at the time. Well, that'll do it today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this short tour here at the uh, Fanthorpe Cemetery. Small, mostly family cemetery here in Anderson, Texas, with the namesake of the town, the last vice president of Texas buried here. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook. And until next time, have a good one, folks.